All right, I had to, I started filming this and then the lighting was just too bright. I'm battling the sun and my ring light and my vanity light and everything else. So <laughs> we're just, I'm gonna just talk you through what I did and then I'm gonna turn this into a get ready with me. I was just going to do a quick tutorial, but it's just not working out today and I'm trying not to give up. <laughs> so I already put on my face the Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, oil free. This is the pore minimizing one. I placed this on my forehead, my chin, and the tops of my cheeks because those are the areas that typically on me, um, if I'm gonna have any pores showing through, it would be that. So I like to smooth those areas out. And then on my face, I'm wearing two of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. The first one that I use to highlight is tan. And I purchased these from my local Ulta, if I can turn this around for you. So here's tan, and that's what tan looks like. It's definitely my highlight shade. And then the rest of my face, you see deep. Now, I'm gonna say this much, Tarte actually needs to um, step it up as far as their color range goes, because I know I told you guys in the last haul that I would like to switch from all of my typical products that I use for MAC and just start venturing off into other brands and um, start using them. But I'm definitely going back to MAC and I'm going to uh, re-up on my products that I typically use. So today I'm going to use the Intense Powder Camo. This one is in bronze and this is from Derma Blend. And again, I purchased this from my local Ulta. Here's the color and the name of the product. Now I'm gonna just take this big old brush right here. This is an Echo Tools bronzing brush and I'm going to just stipple this all over my face and I just recently bought this product. Hmm. So y'all might be just watching and get ready with me fail of new products that I am trying out. Uh, <laughs> because um i'm not sure i like how that just looked on my face i think my face looked better with just the, the concealer oh <sighs> lordy 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 of course the day that i try to be productive and film for you all this stuff isn't working look at this that looks it looks right in person, but in on camera, I don't know if y'all see that. It looks like a shadow of red and some ash. That's what it looked like to me. I'm going back to MAC. I'm sorry, y'all. I tried to try out other products. The Tarte little products that I did purchase from them, um, these ones, the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation Powders, these are actually pretty good. Um... Tan Sand is the shade that I typically get for myself, which is tan skin with yellow undertones. But I feel like I have to try hard with their products as opposed to my MAC Studio Fix powders. I don't even really have to wear concealer if I don't want to with those. And I can just, I want to be able to do with those products exactly what I can do with my MAC ones. So I don't know. I do like the Tarte shape, Tape Shape Concealers, though. I'll say that much. Um, none of them are an exact match for me. You know what? I'm going to just toss some bronzer on, fill in my eyebrows, some mascara, and that's going to be it for this look today. Because I'm getting frustrated. I don't know if it's the lighting or what, but I'm not sure I like this powder. So I'm going to brush through my brows now it looks a little better maybe once it oxidizes i'll like it so i guess we're gonna be surprised together y'all <laughs> i'm definitely turning this into a get ready with me because y'all know i don't typically do my tutorials like this but i had got some new products and like i said i wanted to try them out and it's been since forever since i've done a tutorial with or for you all Oh, so I'm using the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil. And I love 
this you guys as you can see my little dirty bristle part this is a universal taupe so um i just really fill in the ends of my eyebrows and then i brush through them and that's all i've been doing for my eyebrows that's it nothing more it just i find when i don't put the product up here it just keeps my eyebrows looking very natural and then I just brush through that product and then I take my elf this is the elf clear brow and lash mascara and I just brush that up and if you feel like you need the tip of your brows to be a little darker then you can Fill them in a little darker. And I do want to say thank you all so much. You guys have been just really so supportive of me this month. Well, obviously not just this month. But, you know, I've been able to put out a little more um, content for you guys this month. And I have just been loving all the positive feedback. And I just really have some great viewers. And I just want to say thank you all so much. Um... I'm a little bit frustrated. I had did an order with the Born Pretty store November 7th. And I think that's about it for these brows. I did an order with them November 7th. And like two weeks after I did the order, I realized I hadn't gotten it yet. So I contacted them and they didn't contact me till a little after that to let me know oh they were having some issues with my order they never told me that they were having issues with my order and apparently they were saying they had got a lot of orders in so they just didn't bother to email me literally that's what they said I'm going to contour my face a little bit especially because I don't know if this is going to look right when I get out in the sun so I need to add a little color to my face so I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder NW45 and this is the shade that I like to use just to add some color. And I use this as a whole bunch of different products on my face. So I use it as eyeshadow and my crease. And I just take whatever is left over to run on the sides of my nose. And I just do that on both sides. And then um, this is the makeup that I've been wearing every single day, pretty much. And my videos for the past year or so, I've been wearing this during there every single day. That's why when y'all have been asking me for makeup tutorials and stuff, I tell you, I literally, and I just take it and write it on my cupid's glow and under my chin. And then I'm going to contour the size of my face with that same product. So back to uh, Born Pretty. Yeah, I had ordered from them, right? And this brush is my MAC. This is my 168. And then this brush is the Elf Flawless Concealer one. The one that I, you know, did that with. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, I ordered from them last month on the 7th. Two weeks after that, I contact them. A couple days after that, they finally responded. And I was just simply asking them where my order was. So they stated that they had a lot of orders. And, you know, that's why they didn't get back to me to let me know where my order was. Which I don't understand what that has to do. Everyone else's orders has nothing to do with mine. You know, I shouldn't be responsible for other customers and what they had going on because after all, they're supposed to be providing us all with the same experience. Anywho, so um, I'm just taking this and warming up the rest of my face with it. Whatever is left over on a brush, I'm not going to add any more product to it. And then I'm actually going to use that same product to um, bronze up my cheeks too. So like I told y'all, it's the same one, the NW45. And this is what I mean. And this is a foundation powder that I'm using to do all this. But if you use a little bit of product, it really does go a long way. And I'm going to do this in a separate video as a tutorial. 
um, to better explain it. But right now, I'm going to just make this as a get ready with me because I really wanted to film today. And the devil was playing. He was playing with my lighting and everything else. But I'm going to get this out for y'all. And just, I guess, maybe do it as a Vlogmas video. So, anywho, back to this long old story about Born Pretty. Um, yeah. They never got back to me, yada, yada, yada. And when I finally, um, did get an answer from them, they told me that I'm gonna use my Betty Luminizer. And I'm gonna apply this to my eyelids. They told me that um my order was shipped out and then they then then a week after that when i still hadn't gotten anything they told me that oh they were getting ready to ship my order out again so this is three contacts from them the first one being you know they had so many different orders that's why they didn't bother to email me to let me know that you know they were having issues with my order still hadn't told me what the issue was then after that they said they did ship it out and then the week after that um they told me i'm gonna run this down my cupid's bow tip of my nose i mean that is not my cupid's bow the bridge of my nose tip of my nose this is my cupid's bow here um they told me that my order got shipped back and it was in customs because of liquids so I checked my order. I didn't order any liquids. I had a bunch of stamping plates. Then they tried to tell me that this, um, it was the three, one of their little 3D gels. That one gel held up the entire order. Well, at this point, I had already asked them. I just wet my brush to make, you know, that really shot, that really pop. At this point, I had just pretty much asked them, you know, if I could have my money back because I was frustrated with the fact that they just didn't care. They totally disregarded me asking for my money back and demanding, you know, that they give me a refund because at this point it's been about four weeks, three weeks, and my order still has not gotten shipped out yet. So from November 7th to Thanksgiving Day, my order still hadn't gotten shipped. They didn't ship it out until the day after. And I don't know if you guys pay attention, but on Born, Born Pretty's website, it actually does state when they, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. It does state when they ship it out. I didn't get any back and forth. It was one day that they shipped it out and it said November 25th. So now they're blaming it on the whole you know customs situation which i don't really believe i think they were just coming up with an excuse and then when i asked for my money back they ended up telling me that um they will offer me a dollar so that i could shop back with them a dollar so disrespectful like and I told them, no, you know, I did not want a dollar. I wanted all my dollars back. I didn't want one of their dollars because that was just, that was an assumption on their part that I would even want to shop with them after not even getting my order and spending all that money. And I bought a lot of stuff in this order. And um, all this stuff was supposed to have been for Christmas. It is December 13th and I still didn't get the package. And then not only did I get, did I not get the package, this is why I don't like talking while I'm doing my makeup. Because I just got that on my lid. And this is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner Pencil. Not only did I not get my package. The order is not probably not going to be here in time for Christmas. And not only is it probably not going to be here in time for Christmas. But they, um... Not only is it not going to be here in time for Christmas, guys, this is how I've been wearing my makeup. Just that fast my makeup is done. If I wasn't talking to y'all, it would have it would have been that much faster. I'm going to put my carbon black L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Let's see if this will focus on. There we go. Focus, baby. Put this mascara on and my makeup is done. See what that fast? Mm -hmm. Um... I'm not going to get my order basically because I didn't figure out where I was going with this. But they offered me a dollar 
for the inconvenience of a package that should have been here. So I'm gonna get a, probably a whole bunch of Christmas stuff in January. Rude. And I did try to go through PayPal, but I don't know what's going on with PayPal because I never even got a response back to try to even dispute the thing. So I don't know what's going on. All I know is I don't want one of their dollars. I want my dollars. That's what I want. I want my, my money back for my order that I did. I'm done. Now that I've had time to let everything melt in, I do do, I do do, <laughs> I really do like the products together. So I probably will be sticking with that combo, but I will be going to Mac and re-upping on any of my products that I've been missing out on. So the Revlon Color Burst 040 Lip Butter is what I have on my lips. I was just going through a lot of my products, so some oldies with goodies I was pulling out. I also am wearing contacts. Any information on the contacts, I'll put in the bottom bar because right now while I'm filming this, I do not remember where these contact lenses are from at all. But this is what the bottle looks like, just so that you know. They are Geo Bella something. I forget the website I even got them from, which is said. And that's what the top looks like. So any information on the contacts will be in the bottom bar. I did take the Betty Luminizer and highlight the top of my cheekbones. I don't know whether or not I had filmed that or not. And then as far as the eyeliner that I'm wearing, it is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner. And I love this. I got this from Ulta. And the reason I needed to get a new eyeliner was because the Rimmel eyeliner was tearing up my waterline I mean I was itching and burning and I couldn't do it so that's never really happened to me before I thought maybe my daughter's hadn't got to it maybe threw it on the floor or rubbed it across a, some paper or something but no it's just that I think I might be allergic to whatever is in their eyeliner and that's it so I don't know how I'm gonna put this together I may put it to music I'm not sure I'm gonna try to shorten the video down but I will be refilming this tutorial for you guys in a future video probably tomorrow so until next time have a great day, day. Smooches. smooches bye